Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. I'm Peter Drury and seated in the experts hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Well I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you Peter and, and thank you very much for that. Supporters on all four sides rise for the national anthems. Egypt proudly line up for their national anthem. Here then the lineups for this game. We're underway. Balls out on the left now. Shoots! Just off target. Well, I think the keeper knows all too well that there was no getting anywhere near that. That's a big escape. Well, I think the early signs have been very good for them. They've already got that defence unsettled and now they've got to back it up. to the keeper and go again good challenge he just stood firm whistle's gone that's a foul pumps it upfield well, needless to say he was expecting a better ball than that Mohamed Salah has given away a free kick tries a through ball chance Swept in. Drives it towards the front. Oh, good interception. Spoon forward. El Nenny sticks in a foot to win it back. Goes long. Well positioned to make that interception. Good run down the left. What can they make of it? He's got away with one there. Yeah, and it's very good play to force the initial error there. That's what created the opening in the first place. Well, that's what's called setting your stall out. They've begun with great conviction and efforts at goal are mounting up. This is good play. Did 
Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Passes it through. Salah. Now the pass. Can he find a finish now? Out of play for a goal kick. That is a poor kick by the keeper. Being intercepted. No goals as yet. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Defending was physical, no nonsense, and it had to be. A chance! Can he finish? Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Great leap! Went with his head, but couldn't steer it in. Yeah, with him being under pressure from a couple of opponents, I thought he showed real determination to get some sort of attempted goal, and we have to give him credit at least for that. Uh, poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. That looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Looks like a good ball through. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. That's good defence. Uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Who's going to make this theirs? Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Aim forward. Looking to shoot. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Looks to slip it through, gets it back, aimed long and direct, now it's Mohamed Salah, oh it's opened up nicely for him, oh they did so well to set it up, they used the 1-2 to great effect in working their way through the middle then, a little more look though and they may have been celebrating. to meet it he's missed but not by that far oh just a couple of inches out as well and he would have had glory he's very unlucky and I don't think he can quite believe it didn't go in Great ball, now the shots. Uh, needed a better pass there. Goes long and forward. Defenders on the back foot. Tries to get it forward quickly. 
it's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. He's made sure that that won't get through. And the whistle goes for half-time. The midway point of the game. Egypt ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. Egypt can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Mohamed Salah pushes to get on the end of it. It's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Mohamed Salah looking to get on the end of this. Mohamed Salah. He's had a shot. Sticks it away. Just to pick me up, the whole game needs. He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Oh, Peter, you can't teach that. You either have it or you don't. His anticipation is on another level to everyone else's. Superb. Egypt take the lead. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Pumps it upfield. Passes it through. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Defending was strong and firm. Tries a long pass towards the front. Fires it in low. And that's been repelled. That's not going to make it. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Uh, let down by a lack of accuracy. Throw in. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Well, that's where he wants it. And it's Salah. And the shot! Great build-up. It all deserved a better ending. And it just goes to show you how effective those through balls can be. All it needed was a better execution. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Mohamed Salah tried to play it through. Yeah, and it was a case of, of good awareness, too, that wasn't quite matched by the, the right way to pass. It only needed just a little bit more behind it, and he was through. Salah. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Who's going to make this theirs? This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Well, trying to bulldoze his way through a crowded area is unlikely to yield any joy, Peter. He, he needs to find a little more guile.
There's going to be a change here. There's a man waiting to come on. That's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. It's going to be another throw. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Mohamed Salah! Oh, and that should have been two. Yeah, he knew only too well that to concede then would have been tough to recover from. That could prove a big moment in this game. Mohamed Salah to take it as usual. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And that would have won it. What a massive let off that was. They're still in it, but uh, this could be pivotal. Oh, he really wanted that. He's been a joy to watch, and, and that didn't miss by much. He'll be back. Now it's Mohamed Salah. Battles to win it back. Oh, no question, that's a foul. Well, that's a booking. Always looked it. Oh, what a save! He had a long way to go. Well, I thought his starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. Cross is in a low one. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Well, there's no point in adopting a conservative attitude now. As long as they don't lose their shape completely, they have to throw men forward in this situation. Trying to get there. That'll be a throw in. Egypt make their final change. So he's got himself a goal, and now he gets himself an ovation on the way off. Look, he can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard. And I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in. And you know, if that's the case, then you know he's doing the right thing. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. It really is now or never. They need a goal, however it comes. Tries a through ball. A chance! And he's whipped it in low. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. We are into stoppage time. Come back to the keeper. Keeper's got good distance on that. Looks like a good ball through.
Looks to slip it through. Dashing forward at pace. And the referee brings it to a close. Egypt win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Yeah, and I think after that solitary second half goal, they did what all good teams do and protected their lead. I think we're just about out of time, so many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you. In the end, I thank Jason for your follow-up. We hope to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button, and do not forget to like. We also await your support through the Super Chat and the Thank You feature.